Welcome to WorshipTutorials.com. You're hanging out today with Bradford. Bradford and Brian. Today, we're going to give you a guitar lesson. I, I think it's long overdue. I have been wanting to do more guitar lessons on the channel. And we had this idea the other day. Uh, I said to Brad, I said, Bradford, why don't you teach me something and in turn teach you something? Uh, because Bradford is a killer guitar player. Just awesome. I am a very mediocre guitar player, and I would like to as aspire to come closer to Brad's level. So, uh, we were talking about... I don't even know what to say after that. I mean, thank you, just but receive I just it. don't... Just say, you're right. It's true. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, I said, so we were trying to figure out, okay, what are we going to teach? And I, my idea, I didn't tell Brad this, but my idea was, I was just going to give him a guitar, which I did. This one. This one. This is not a bad one to begin with. <laughs> and I was just like, just play. And uh, I waited until Brad played something that I didn't, that I knew I didn't know how to do, and I wanted to learn. And this is what it was. Why don't you show us what you, uh, what you did? So what I heard Brad play was a chord progression that went up the neck. So it, it used more uh, of the neck than just the bottom three frets, which is kind of where I live a lot. Uh, we went up here, and I thought, okay, there's a chord progression that's probably just a regular old chord progression that sounded really interesting. Brad, what, what chord progression did you just do? So I'll play just the basic chords. Well, the typical way you would play these yeah. chords. I played an E, minor, uh, e major. So an E. And then an F sharp minor. And then a G sharp minor. A C sharp minor. A B. And then an A. And then back to the E. Okay, so basically just a... Just random, like it's a, a one, not a song or anything. So I'm gonna, it's a one, two, three, six, five, four, one. Yes. And that this is that's the boring way to play it. E, so E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, B, A. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just kind of. That's kind of like just it's vanilla. Yeah, it's like every, you know, as soon as you learn how to play those chords, that's how you're going to play them. Okay, so Brad, show us what you're playing here. You right. played an E first. This is uh, more like an E9, because we have this F sharp. That's an F sharp. Okay, so the, here's the E, and you added yeah, it's, this. Yeah, it's a stretch. You got to get this. This is uh, the fourth fret on your E. Okay. So you and add you're that. you're playing it with your pinky. Yeah. That is a stretch. If you're used to playing with your thumb wrapped around, here's a tip. Because you can't do it with your thumb here. Yeah, my you thumb to, is you have pretty... To put your thumb... I can't even show you Like, that. right is. behind your fingers. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you play an E like you would. Take your ring finger off. Yep. And, and put use your, your pinky on the fourth fret in its place. I'm a little sloppy. That might happen to you. You hear that? Okay, that's the E. That's the E. Uh, now, we've done some vo videos on alternate chord voicings mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and we know they're technically, they're not just voiced differently, they're actually completely different chords because they got different le uh, notes in them. But uh, here's an F sharp minor, and the G sharp minor, and the C sharp minor are all played the same way, just on different All the same, uh, the same uh, fingering. Finger, yeah, the, the same, yeah. So they're, I think they're technically sevens, so. Okay. F sharp minor seven, G sharp minor seven, C, C sharp, sharp minor, minor seven. seven. Okay. I'm using my thumb to get the low E string. And that's and it, that is the F sharp root. That's, that's the F sharp. The, that's root. how you know what you're playing. Yeah. And the thumb actually reaches around and mutes the A string. Okay. No A. You don't need that because in this chord it wouldn't bat it would be alright, I guess, but like when you start sliding up the neck, it's not necessary. And then you kind of, if you've ever made an A, a lot of people play A's with their bar finger, or bar in their finger. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much bar the rest of the strings. Right. So you're D, G, B, and E. Oh, you're doing all the way up. Yeah. Okay. And 
you don't always want to use that, but you can if you do that, you can easily just not hit the E string if you want. Right. Like that. Or you can. Okay. So Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well and the F sharp minor I would play is here. It's very close, it's, you can tell so it's similar. The, the top of it is exactly the same. Yep. You're just basically taking this note, dropping it down there. So that's the F sharp minor. Yes, and the only difference between that, the G sharp, and the C sharp is we just go from the second fret up to okay. the fourth fret. Which, okay, that makes sense because that's G sharp. Yep, because that's G sharp. And then we're going to slide all the way up here to the ninth fret. Which is C sharp. It's a C sharp. Now it's a C sharp minor. If you know your, if you know your fretboard. Yes. You should. You should spend time learning your E string and your A string, both E strings and A string. It'll help. Yeah. It'll help a lot, and it doesn't take long, but it'll help a lot. But when you're here, you're also able to get to your C sharp minor pentatonic. Oh yeah. And so that's the scale you would use. In the key of E, the minor pentatonic scale. Yes, because it's e. the relative minor. So here's your okay. your pentatonic. So when you're playing the chord, you can actually, because it's here, you can use this as a fret. So you can just. So you can like play a little lick. You can a play hammer on. You can do whatever you want. Any minor pentatonic lick, you know. Okay. It is available to you. It is available to you indeed. You're correct, okay. sir. So the next chord was the we went five, we walked back down. So we did okay. like essentially we did you a slow up, walk up. Down. One, two, three, and then skipped all the way up to six. And okay. then we went six, five, four, and then resolved yeah. on if, one. If you don't know what we're talking about, one, two, three, six, five, four. Those are that's like the Nashville number system. And we have a video on that. Yeah, and so in the key of E, the one is E, the two is F sharp minor, the three is G sharp minor. The six is C sharp minor. The five is B. The four is A. Yes. And if you switch keys, you can use that same. What, what was it? One, two, three, six, five, four. Yeah. You can use that same progression and know what chords to play in different keys, which we're gonna do at the end of this video. Very shortly. Yeah. So after you hit the C sharp minor, if yep. you're playing it here at least, um, you then use this is an F shape. So if you're gonna play an F chord okay. like that, and you can use your thumb. It's not completely necessary because it'll still sound good. Right. But you're only using your B, you're using the G, and the D. And the spacing is just as you, you're just one fret apart each time. So if you if you do it here, you're on B, you're on the seventh fret, G, you're on the eighth fret, D, you're on the ninth fret. So it just stacks up like stairs. So at the moment, I can hit, I have the bass if I want it. So I just hit the bass, and then I hit those three strings in the middle. You're on the five, so you, so can, you suspend can suspend it if it. you want. Then so you would do that with your pinky right above your ring finger. Then. Mm -hmm. So then all I did after that, so we went one, two, three, six, five, four. So we take this. This is our five, the B. Go back two yeah, frets, down two frets. Down. So B to A is just down. Yeah. And you can't. It'd be very specific instance, but you really can't and add this. Uh, you can't suspend it because it's adding a D note. And you don't want a D note because mm. there's no D in, in uh, the key of E. So you're adding a flat Unless you're seven. in a different mood. Yeah, if you're in a like random Solidian. mode in Revelation Song and ah, et cetera. Woo! We slipped that in flat there. So you don't, wanna, you don't necessarily want that. It's not going to sound good unless you're a very specific random instance. So, okay. and then back to your E. Okay. Let me see. Let me, oh, yeah, you got you to... Gotta, do some tremolo. All right, so let me see if I get it. Here's the E, and you played it like this. And I know these, I know these shapes for these minor chords because I've done, you've taught this before. Yeah. And I paid attention. Here, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, ninth fret. Here's where you can play a minor pentatonic lick. That's nicely a, done. That's Brian. a simple one. That sounds delicious, though. With verb and delay, it's going to sound even more delicious. So we're at the C sharp. Okay, so now we go the the B, which is this. I you know, I would play it like on an acoustic guitar. I would play this E shape up here and just strum away. Yeah. But we're not playing acoustic today. So I'm going to play this F shape that you just showed me. 
Oh, I, put, I hit my open A. I don't want that. Ow. Okay, so there's the B to A. To E. Four. Yeah. And like that oh. E's not, that's not always going to be easy for someone with smaller hands. I got big hands. So Trimble. you're not, it, you're not going to completely ruin it by no means, obviously. You can do this however you feel, yeah. see fit. Okay, so we talked earlier about uh, moving this to a different key because this is great to know, but if you only learn that, uh, you can only do it in the key of E, mm -hmm. which is not terribly useful no. in most situations. Unless you so want to play an E every single time. Yeah. So let's take G. Uh, so I I know like E, G is up. Basically everything's going to move up three frets because E up one up one tone would be F. Up and one more would be F sharp. Up one more is G, so it's up three. It's a step and a half. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a G. The next is, thing is going to be the two, which is the A minor. It's going to be, this is A. There's that shape. And now it's the same exact thing. It's just the up. same, the same. Yeah. The G is the only difference. You're the only thing you're changing. Yeah. So that's the B minor, which is the three. The six then is E minor, which is up here. The twelfth fret, because that's where everything restarts. There's that minor pentatonic thing. Right. Uh, and then a five is a D, which we were here, so it'd be up. No. Here, I messed it up. And then the four is just down two for a C. <laughs> The cool thing about G, too, is you have the minor pentatonic scale. So here was the minor pentatonic scale up here. 12th fret. It's the same thing here. It's a little more accessible on down here for this key than it is in E or C sharp minor. Well, thank you for hanging out with us for this lesson. Let us know this. Did you like this format? Because I thought, like I said earlier, I thought it'd be cool if I learn along with you. Uh, because Bradford's the master over here. So, well, uh, out of two of us, <laughs> out of the two of us, Brad is by far the best guitar player. <laughs> so if you want to know more lessons like this, I can invite Brad over to my house again and say, Brad, play until I hear something I want to learn. <laughs> and then we'll just do this whole thing again. Well, now I'm going to know. I'm going to be on the spot. I know. He's going to know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I am going to try and commit to do more guitar lessons because I think it's a really valuable thing. Yeah. Uh, to, to offer to you um, and I know if you're anything like me you just want to you want to get better wherever you're at it, it you will we always need to be uh, s uh, aspiring to improve thank you so much for watching Thank Brad you. and I are gonna go eat cheeseburgers yes we are goodbye <laughs> <laughs>